Okay, you. Let's go home. Home again! Home again! Well, that night could have gone better, but it didn't end in a complete disaster with me breaking up with B.I. again as friends. Like, oh boy. A bombshell. <laughs> May they be a be a suck together. Don't suck together. Cool. Ah, well, quite a night, and not even a visit to the graveyard, which I was planning for, but sure. Hi, Dad. Hello. Oh, well, are you okay? No, I'm not okay. Okay. So, what's going on, May? I don't think I can talk about it. You're gonna have to start talking sometime, kitten. I wish I could. Why can't you? I, I, I don't even know. Where to even start? It, it's just... I've been having these dreams, really weird ones. And I keep thinking I see a ghost. A ghost? And I've had these horrible nightmares. They feel really real. And I think something really bad is going to happen. And I've been running around doing all this stupid stuff. And where's it all going? What even is my life right now? I think I patched up some stuff tonight. But like, everyone is on their way somewhere else. And I had a big fight with mom and I'm messing everything up and I've got no future. Oh kitten, it's okay. And that's not even counting the money problems we apparently got. Yeah. Money problems make everything worse, I know it. And I can't do anything about it. I don't even know if I could hold down a job and, at this stage. And how am I ever going to survive in the future and, and, and... Oh, shush, kitten. Take a breath. Okay, okay, okay. Why don't you get some sleep? Can I just stay down here for a bit, Dad? As long as you like, me. Garbo and Malloy. Malloy! Garbo! Ever think about yet? No, the afterlife. I don't have a life as it is, so there is no afterlife. <laughs> Why, Garbo? Do you think there's someone up there watching? Hey, I just hope anyone's watching at this time slot. Really? <laughs> well, these are the big questions, Garbo. Oh, don't get any bigger, Malloy. Are you a church goer, Garbo? Hey, last time I was in church, they hadn't inv invented religion yet. Really? You were making it up as we went along. Okay, so we all think there's a god, right? We should have potlucks. Can't have a church without potlucks. You could, Molly, but it would be... A Whoppa. Dad, I, I really don't get this show. Now come back up next, Garbo and I contacted Dead. This really is one of the weirdest shows I've ever seen, but it does calm me down, so that's appreciated. Thank you, Dad. I think I'm gonna head off to bed. It's been a long day. But at least we're back home sweet home, and at least things didn't get completely screwed up with Bia. Hey, you. Hey, me. I am so tired from tonight. I bet. Did you run all the way to the river? Oh, I did, because I was worried about you. Yeah, on the roofs and stuff, and slipping and sliding, and it was dangerous. That and dancing really take it out of you. That's like, really... That's really nice, May. That you did that. Ah, oh, it was nothing. Anything for you. Go get some sleep, May. Okay, I'll do that. 
Thanks for running after me. It's appreciated. Oh, I never go away. You'll never be rid of me. I can think of worse fates. <laughs> ah, boy. And meanwhile, Greg. Hey, kid. Went to a party. Danced at a party. Ran around in the rain. Met a hot girl, too. Totally didn't get her number. She's a bombshell, though. Wow. Sounds like an awesome night, dude. Nah, it was a mixed bag. But all in all, I'd party again. Oh, we need to do more. We need to do more parties. You are very right. Alright, I'm off to bed. Laters. And Sharkle <coughs> is Sharkle. Chatterbox is Chatterbox with the eggplant stuff and poster service. Who knows what? Ah, it's be bedtime. Bedtime? Yep, let's see what kind of crazy dream we're dealing with tonight. Like last time we saw God, and God was going to be gone, he said, so... Ah, uh, boy. Oh, we finally... ...have a normal night. We finally had a normal night! Wow! Was not expecting that. But apparently... Well... That's good. Weird though. Anyway. Hi, Angus! No, uh... Away messages, come pick your fight, give arrows flight, you mess with me, you mess with all of us. Go to see the blank tones next week. Nice! What about you, Greg? Hey, kid. Snack falconing. Work, work, work. Till I die, die, die. Well, enjoy. Make the death so make the death as horrible as possible. Hello, May. Big X and it me. You know the drill. Oh, I know it, all right. Science beats new research indicates that things don't necessarily have to be as bad as they are. Well, that's good news, right, Charcoal? <laughs> oh, don't tell me you've got some kind of weird evil plan to make that not true. Please, Charcoal, I've been kind. Don't ruin my life. Ah, oh, boy. Well, anyway, good night's sleep. That's brilliant. That leaves our happy little family. Jeez. Feels like it's been years since I got back and saw this again. Yup. Anything else? Like Mr. Birdie? No? Birdie? Hey, Bird. Things are, like, really intense right now. Pray to your bird gods for my soul, bird. Because I'm taking flight and I don't know where I'm going. Mom! How you here? As always. Morning, Mom. Good morning. Oh, there's my little sunshine daisy. Are you feeling any better from the other day? I mean, kinda, but also... Eh, sleeping a lot, but feeling worse? Okay, well, I'm going to make you an appointment with Dr. Hank. Oh, jeez, Mom, it's fine. Oh, it is very much not fine, hon. I'm an adult. I can make that decision. When you're here, you're still my baby. And I'm making you an appointment, May. May, hon, I'm worried about you. I'm okay, Mom. Listen, I keep thinking about the money problems, and the house, and I'm, I'm just so sorry. You, we, we wouldn't be in this situation if I wasn't such a massive screw-up. I just want to fall into a pit and die right now. May, it's okay, really. We'll figure something out. This isn't on you to fix. I'm, I'm sorry if I made it seem that way. What's done is done, and we're a family together regardless. Please stop worrying about it. Oh, whatever happens, uh, I love you. I need you to know that. Oh, you too. <laughs> okay, I'm, I'm gonna go. 
Are you sure you don't want to stay home and rest? Nah, got stuff to do. Ghost finding as such. Oh, what is it that you have to do? I don't even know, honestly. Okay, hun. Please take it easy. I will. Love you. Love you too. And what are you reading? Oh, I keep the really good prescription headache meds on my nightstand. I can, like, give you half of one? Only half? Like, by the looks of things, I need, a, like, a whole a bottle. Honey, you're... You know... Short. Half would be fine. Just like with alcohol. <laughs> it's fine, Mom. Okay, let me know if I can be of any help. Thanks, Mom. Well, see you at church. Meanwhile... Oh, the day starts anew. All kinds of people to bother. And apparently to visit Bia. Because that was my original plan. Visit Bia. To go to the graveyard. I'm, at the same time, it doesn't mean I'm leaving Greg kind of behind this raid. Like, hey, he's last all the time. But uh, It's choices that have to be made. And I can't jump down this bridge and I don't know why I want to visit rabies but I can't oh well that's just the way it is me get down from those power lines oh no it's on mall cop run flee <laughs> oh god what do you want Oh, hello to you too, May. Well? I wanted to let you know, we ran a test on that arm you guys found a few days back. So it was a real arm? Oh, really? Yeah, I thought you'd be interested is all. Definitely, so this totally is not going to be about the whole fact that I'm running over the power lines and such, and... We'll forget about that detail, right? Uh, arm belonged to a middle-aged man. And medium built. He was dead when it was removed. So, like, did someone dug up a corpse and then just take the arm and put it there? I mean, whoa. That means. Uh, it doesn't mean anything yet. I just thought you'd like to know. You always liked detective stories when you were a kid. Oh, yeah, thanks. This ghost is seriously messed up. Ghost? There wasn't no ghost involved in this, or whatever it was. Yeah, yeah, nobody believes me. I get it. We've been through this whole song and dance. Oh, be careful, May. Strange stuff is going on. Yeah, you're telling me. Have a nice evening, May. Yeah, I'll have a nice evening. And totally because I can. And because I'm curious to know if she has anything to say about it. Because she's standing right there. Itsy bitsy may may walked across the line. Walked over a mall cop and she thought it was fine. Oh boy. Hi Selmus. Did I ever tell you about that arm that we found, which I thought was, might have been a Halloween decoration, but it turns out to be an actual arm? Hey, Selmers! Jeez, May, are you sick? Nah, just tired. Got a headache. Why are you out running around? I'll get over it. Sheesh. Take it easy, neighbor. Can do. Want to hear a new poem? I definitely would like to hear a new poem. The stars, the stars, like lights on cars, drive across the dark and never park. It's true, they are like that. Like I'm ready for the longest night. Oh? Longest night, longest night, night so dark, but stars so bright. Nice. Thanks, I'm feeling festive. So what exactly is Longest Dark? Is it like... Christmas, sort of, or... 
You notice anything like weird around here lately? Weird other than me, of course, but weird as in Ghost Man. Missing kids. I don't think so. Not recently at least. That Casey kid last spring. But he weren't a kid no more. Maybe someone else, but from another another town? I'm sure I'll remember. Yeah, I asked that, but didn't expect you to know. I read the paper. Well, that's good. Forecast is thinking snow soon. When? Soon. Gonna get cold soon. Oh boy. Well, longest night it is then. See us, Elmers. And meanwhile, Porsche person. Hi. They're getting colder this year. Don't bode well. No, it certainly doesn't. Uh, which means... Oh. What does that even mean? It doesn't mean anything. It just means it's gonna get cold. It means I'm trying to get to the power lines, which I can do right over here. Haha. <laughs> but anyway, meanwhile the story about that arm is just getting weirder and weirder. I'm kind of freaked out that it was an actual arm now and not a Halloween decoration. Like, I thought that was just shoved aside as uh, just preparations for Harfest. Nothing wrong. It's, yeah, I don't know. It's weird. It's really weird. But with kids going missing, no one in town, but possibly from another town. It's like, uh, I just don't know. Stuff is weird. But before we go visit Bia and go to the graveyard together, possibly visit her mom. Because she was going to the graveyard anyways, what she said. <sighs> Let's see what else we can still find around town. Um, what I'm finding around town is the fact that there are now rats outside of the building. <laughs> oh boy. We're really causing a rat plague. Oh, shut up! Go hunt some rats! Fre no, don't hunt rats! Go ch- No. Don't hunt cats! Don't- No, don't hunt rats! Don't chase cats! Don't do anything, just stay inside! Be a good boy, okay? Because you're currently not being a good boy. Ah, dogs. They remain better than cats. So rats, 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 as far as the eye can see. I really hope we're not going to find all the rats dead someday because the exterminator came in because whoever is living here decided to call for the exterminator. Must be weird to sleep in this bed every night, alone in the building, except for Telesoft a couple floors down. Maybe they work there. Just come downstairs in their pajamas. Hey everybody, I just woke up and I live at work. Oh god, this sounds horrible. Kinda. And meanwhile, the closet. What's even in this closet? I feel some shoes. Some shirts, I think. Okay, they got a golf club or something. Oh, weird. They have a sword in here? I can take the sword and rob a bank. Hands up, citizen, I'll jam this sword in your neck. <laughs> I could wear a mask and a cape. Who was that dashing thief? That threatened to stab the bank teller in the neck. Uh, my life is a wreck. I'd probably stab my own neck at, on accident. Ah, oh, get it together, me. I'll take the sword, though. But seriously, where does this person pee? <laughs> I don't think you want to know some answers. Ooh, ooh, one more, one more, one more. There we go. I wonder what's in the fridge. Eh, uh, that's a violation of privacy. As if us being inside of this room, snooping about, being in the closet, is not a violation of privacy. I could, like, see what's in this dresser. May, is this what it has come to? You're stealing from a stranger's weird apartment? What even are you doing with yourself? And they probably don't have anything good. So there's no excuse. Oh, so if them having anything good is an excuse that makes it okay? Oh dear, oh dear, May, get it together. 
At least we're realizing right now that it is a wrong thing to do, but come on. Oh boy. Anyway, Lori M. Ooh, hey. Might they be together? Might our fiddle violin playing friend and the saxophone guy be together? Again, I meant to do that. The problem is jumping on top of that bucket and actually succeeding, not jumping too far. Anyway, hi, Lori. You okay? Yeah, just tired. I'm, I'm like only half here right now. I'm just tired. Are you sick or something? I don't even know anymore. Oh, you should get some cold medicine. And some crackers and ginger ale. Lay in bed and watch bad movies. Thanks for the advice, Doc. Although, I feel like that won't fix this one. Oh, one time I got pneumonia. And I had to go to the school anyway. Isn't that contagious or something? I don't know. <laughs> May, are you okay? <laughs> May! I, uh, uh, sorry. Uh, Space out there for a second. Oh, you should, like, see a doctor. I'll get around to it. Thanks. Uh, no problem. Alright, well, I'll probably see you later. Probably? Eh, nothing certain, I guess. Okay. See ya. See ya indeed, and that's gonna end with me dying. Oh, we really should visit the doctor. Also, gotta make this jump. There we go. Can we talk to the cat? No? Fine. Then, it's time to go off to church. Because if Bruce indeed spoke the truth and has gone on with his plan, he should now be gone. We got statues of stern dudes for miles here in Possum Springs. Including this guy who eats people and breathes fire. Still entirely sure which one of the two was the truth. Uh. Hi, Pastor K. I was supposed to tell you something. I wonder where Bruce has got to. Actually, I know. Really? Yeah, he told me not to tell you yesterday. Uh, tell me what, May? Bruce is going home! He... What? Yeah, he's going home to his kids. I guess they're all waiting for him. Uh, he... He's not going to a physical place. He didn't. Or he did. Oh. He seemed pretty happy about it. Okay. Thanks, May. Uh, are you not happy about this? Thanks for letting me know. I really hope he is home in a physical place and not in the ethereal place beyond life. Uh... Sorry, Pastor K. But I made a promise. And I mean, at the same time, this also saves her from bringing the bad news to Bruce that uh, the city council most likely wasn't going to allow him to stay in the church. Unless they had a different place for him, but... Would they really have that? I don't know. Hi, Mom. See? You can't resist coming here. I'm curious. Oh, that's God calling you. No, God call it God is calling me in my dreams and being awkwardly weird about it. Oh, jeez, I'm betting not. God's patient, hun. Like nature. That is such a creepy statement, especially after the whole harvest play with the God of the forest. Oh, I find it comforting. I got this creeping dread thing going on. So, uh, just ignore me. Okay, hon. Can I do anything? Not really. But I love you. And what are you reading? 
Oh, what is it? I don't know. Purposefully committing this scene to memory. Taking a brain photo. Haha, <laughs> yeah, like when I was a kid. Oh, your dad was great with the games to keep you quiet in the car. He sure was. I still do it now. Snap. Got your picture. Snap, snap. Got yours too. Oh, love you, sweetie. You too, mom. I'm so worn out. Oh, why don't you go take a nap back in the library room? Oh, wow. I haven't been in the library room in years. Oh, it doesn't get a lot of views these days, but it's nice and quiet and peaceful. Okay, I might do that. Uh, door's back there and locked now, so have at it. I'll be out here. Thanks, Mom. No problem, sweetie. I can finally go through the door, finally! Twas about time! Ooh, there's a sofa. You know what? Sure. I'll have a short nap. Uh, yeah, definitely having a short nap. Sometimes you truly do need that. Oh, granddad. Right. Is this a sign of God? That is nice. That's really nice. Even if it is just in our imagination. That is nice. Ah. So meanwhile, why were we standing outside instantly? Like, can't we just stay there for a little bit longer? Is the door still unlocked? It still is. Can we still lie down? Yes, we can. Is this going to be the same thing? Or are we wide awake now? I think we're wide awake now. Yup. Alright, well. Uh, I'm assuming nobody else is in church because Pastor K is outside. But... That doesn't stop me from quickly checking this area. I mean, you find the strangest people in the strangest of places. But apparently, never in church. Anyway, that brings us to our next stop for this area. The Tunnel Fish. Obviously. And our river friend. Hi. Will Tunnel Fish be always there? Will Tunnel Drain Canal be bare? I would miss the tunnel fish. To have them back would be my wish. Are they gonna drain a tunnel or something? No, it's poetry, okay? Just thinking about the possibility of it being drained. I'm just making stuff up. Please don't listen. You can't stop me from listening. Well, you could, but that would involve violence, and I don't appreciate that. We all know the saying of curiosity killed the cat. But seeing how horribly nosy we are, I do hope that remains a saying. It's easy to get on someone's nerves, and with this ghost stuff, it's easy to see something which we aren't meant to see.